Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and I thought, you know, it'd be a wonderful time just to take uh, take Piper through Nukatown, give her a quick tour. I'm thinking of doing more of a Muselk cut on this one, because mainly, mainly I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be trying to wear my cappy glasses. Woo! And look for those little cappy symbols that you're supposed to find. And you know what? I'm all for kind of like the, the even flow of the gameplay where whatever happens, happens. And it's like you're there with me. And um, But I, this could get rather dull. Because I've killed just about everything. And we just want to find the locations. And if anything interesting happens, then obviously I'll include that in the cut. But I mean, you know, the main thing is let's see what we can find here. I think that's that's a thing. By the way, by Muse Elk Cut, what I mean is if you've watched any of Muse Elk's the latest uh, Fortnite videos, or his, even he's done some recent uh, Team Fortress 2 stuff, it's very cut to this point, cut to this point, cut to this point. Here, There's there's huge gaps in between what's going on. And I'm not going to criticize the man. He's got millions of subscribers. That's probably the right way to do it. But I miss the old days when he would just kind of, you felt like you were just playing TF2, looking over his shoulder. Like I say, I'm, I am in my mid-40s, so I mean, you know, that's that could be a part of it. It could be a thing. Da, 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 da. Here we are in Nuka World, and the Nuka World is a thing. That is one advantage of, uh, of closing this out. We do get another Nuka Girl costume. But do I put it on Kate? Or do I put it on... I don't know. McCready might might rock that. I could see McCready walking around in a half shirt. We'll see. No, no, I'm just being silly. I know Oxford once said that uh, he liked the look of Porter Gage's uh, armor on Kate, so maybe we'll just do something along those lines. Now, here in the Galactic Zone, where is a Cappy? Where is a Cappy? Of course, get whatever else you can. Doesn't seem like a great place to linger, Blue. No, no, no. Not worry, these are my people. My people. They're all my people. Discovered. Interstellar Theater? Like, weren't we here before? This is Long Base Sickness. I can observe life among the stars. Exhibit brought you by Bajang. Okay, let's go live here because I, if I've never been here, that means. Well, we could have turned off the robots using the, uh, the star ports. Maybe that's why they're friendly. Never been to the Interstellar Theater. I find it hard to believe. Interstellar Theater. What's shooting what? I really thought I'd cleared just about absolutely everything here. Okay, let's... Is that go hostile? No. No, we've definitely disabled a bunch of stuff. Ooh, PV dinner trays. They're good. Aluminium. We... I'm sure we've... Oh, no, this is different. Out of the mist and slime. Oh, they have, like, a horror movie going. Star Tender? Excuse me, need a fresh I'm not interfering, I'm just taking a nuke of void nice. recipe. And some wine and squirrel bits in this in a beer. Why are there a bunch of beers next to a giant robot? That makes no sense. Ah Take it easy there, Chief. I'm just grabbing a beer. Can't have too much beer. Do not I'm interfering in nothing. This is kind of cool. Everybody got their own little spaceship. Okay. I should really be walking guns out here because I don't know what's gonna what's gonna come about. But I think all those robots would have been shooting at me. Oh, there's an elevator. Let's let's go around here. Key pots. 
Um, I haven't seen a cappy yet. Have you seen a cappy on the wall yet? Anywhere here? Using my special infrared cappy glasses. Special infrared cappy glasses. Maybe there's something downstairs. There's a couple elevators. Hello. We don't need to craft anything. We do need some of drinking glasses just for, you know. Good day to you. So this is like the kitchen. Oh, there. No one likes it when you're taking stuff, you know? Oven mitts have asbestos and stuff in them. Some dirty water. Unlock advanced. I can lock, unlock anything. I got the iridium bobby pins. That's it. Ooh, star core. And an ice cold. How's it ice cold? Just because it's sitting in a broken fridge? Ice cold Nuka Cola and some mongrel dog meat. Yay! Ice cold Nuka Cola. I did not expect to get an actual dungeon to go through here. Who's been hanging up meat? The robots? Safe. Okay, unlock. Expert. Just got to find the sweet spot. <laughs> Alright, so we did that. That brings us back around. There's an number. Uh, you know. Yeah. Let's take the elevator. Down or up? up. They, can they come up to get us? Okay, I'm sure she'll teleport in when we go down. It's amazing. But she'll just, she'll just appear here any moment. And then there's the telephone. Upper. See, now this is the advantage of all those star cores. These people would be shooting at me otherwise. <laughs> oh, look, we're above everything. That is kind of pretty. You'd think this would be the perfect place to find a little cappy thing. Up in a corner and now... Aluminum canister. Okay, well, I'm all about the al aluminium. You know that. Protect and serve. And not shoot me. That's wonderful. What's up here? Okay, and then door down into. Powering up. Protectron on duty. So the star core it fuses. Coffee cup. Now, this would be an odd place for a cappy, but, you know, it can happen. Nice. Oh, yeah, poor, poor no. dead Galactron. Nuka Cola burnt books. Better Protect cook. and serve. Glass is a thing. Alright, Pro projection booth terminal. Theater program schedule. Halloween's coming up, and that means it's sci fi horror madness month in the theater. And it's been that way now for a couple hundred years. Make sure the following hollows are loaded and ready for the first showing in October. Week one, the beast with a trillion eyes. Death comes stinging. The chartreuse slime. Chartreuse. The slimening. Yikes. There's blood everywhere. The show, I saw it in one movie. The Chartreuse Slime. The Slimening. Yikes, there's blood everywhere. Week 2. Nuka Monster. Atom Bum. The Chartreuse Slime 2. Slime to Die. Grrr, the sequel. Week 3. Insects Ate My Baby. My Husband the Mutant. The Chartreuse Slime 3. Slime Doesn't Pay. Now that's that's a pun I can get by. Night of the Fishman's Revenge. Okay. Memo from management number 92. I want all you lazy jerks to get off your butts and clean the theater after each and every showing. I came into the theater this morning and several of the rocket pods were filled with trash, empty Nuka-Cola bottles, and who knows what else. Nuka World doesn't pay you clowns to watch movies all day. They pay you to work. Well, that's, very, that's a very not hostile work environment, right? If any of you noticed the star tender breaking glasses again, please let management know. 
We spent thousands of dollars on glassware in the last few months, ever since the geniuses running the park decided to have a robot with no hands mixing drinks. That's, this is like they put that there as the star tender, and then they suddenly said, you know, this doesn't make any sense. I will just write some text in. I also recommend not getting it angry. Whether you trust this whole star control system or not, it's AI. It's, it's, it's AI still acting a bit aggressive, and we don't want any more accents. Okay, so they've got... Is that the, is that the, yeah, that's the last memo. Yeah, but why would you? How does any of that make any sense, right? And let's see, call button. Elevator is either one? Does it matter which one we press? Going up. Are we going to get some more star Main control panels? Floor. Main floor. Ah, that takes us back out here. This is the other one that we went into. Nary a campy in sight. Did I miss anything there? Is that the whole... It looks like it's the whole thing. There is one small question. What's shooting stuff? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Well, we got enough plungers. No, if you need anything proofread. Pork and beans. A cap stash. L. It is rank in here. Yeah, it is Shoot. rank. Unlock for the novice here. But what's getting shot? Yes. Yeah, the combat rifle in there. That makes perfect sense. Protect and serve. Why are these guys dead? A traitor. Who has a star core. And a pistol. So apparently they were they were having some kind of Oh well that's what the hell? He's still shooting the traitor. Protect and serve. <laughs> he's protecting, he's serving. He's randomly shooting stuff. So. He may just randomly shoot you, Pipes. We might want to step out. All right, that's a mystery solved, right? That's... Good day to you. He's just still shooting that poor traitor. He's he's dead. You can let him go. He's dead a few times over, Chief. Well, you can't say they're not thorough. All right, we've been around. Let's grab their coffee pot and their burner and their plates and let's go. Do do do. Which is the way on out? And we did that already. Exit. New road open. anywhere on the map. Let's let's quickly fast travel to the star point and put these in. And then then things will continue a bit more randomly. Okay. There's star control. That's the art. We can't get that till we finish everything. But look at all of these. These nice glowing little glowing little star port thingies. There's not too many left. Let's see. Install. 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 Um, that's we still have more to finish repairing the mainframe, but where do they get installed? I'm missing. I'm missing something here. Cause I might have more star cores on me. Oh, down here? Is it a place is there a place to put a strike card? Yep. I honestly don't know how many I have.
Did we get them all? I mean, we've got most of it back now, but where where do you plug the other ones? There's some way off on the side here. Come on, where's some little hole for a starport? Aha! Ah! Okay, so there is one there. There must be just a few other random places. Aha! One there. One, two... So we need to find, what, three more star points in there. That's it. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, now that I'm only three star cores or so, shy of having this thing 100% back up. Is there anything else we can do here? I think we have star cores. Okay, we have star cores. 32 or 35. system logs this is just directions okay we've looked at this before view the star cores Okay. One is still in the galactic zone grounds. And two are outside the galactic zone. That doesn't give you a whole lot of hints as far as outside the galactic zone. It's on the ground. So it's not anywhere. Not a lot of hints there. Luckily we're mostly looking for cappies. Right, yeah, we're here. Can't be glasses. Let's see. Now it's got you to go. Not just yet. I think yeah, I think the upgrades and the disabling the robots. Isn't there something? Maybe because we've already disabled all the robots, there's no longer an option to disable more robots. Hmm. Nothing quite like giant wasps. Is that supposed to be part of... No, no, that's... I guess these are asteroids. All right. You can look, they're mounted there. I thought for a minute there was stuff growing here. Gunfire in the distance. I'm getting used to it now. A nuka grape. Little sound of gunfire. Off in the distance. Getting used to it. Lived in a brownstone. Lived in a ghetto. I've lived all over this town. Lots of sodas. Places like this are why I try to avoid drinking water. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it. Bigger booms going in somewhere. You can get some souvenirs. Hmm. <laughs> we go for the balls. Let's try the, take the back door of the battle zone. I mean, we've been through the battle zone. And we're not going to find any star cores here, but maybe. There's a cappy here somewhere. I think there'd have to be at least one. Somewhere. Somewhere here in the battle zone. Yeah, let's leave the dish rag. Ooh, look How at this. How do you find anything in here? Yeah, that's a good, maybe that's a hint. How can you find anything in here? I bought models. There's some, obviously some stuff that I didn't pick up before. I know I've been through here before. I 
but not wearing the campy glasses. And I guess that's the trick. When you're playing through this, here's my advice. Do wear your cappy glasses for as much of it as possible. Whoops. Hello. Six o'clock. Six o'clock in the morning. As I'm playing this particular section, this is being broken up into a whole bunch of different clips from different days. I'm actually recovering from uh, a tooth extraction with some bias implant to uh, get me set up. That's in better shape than I expected. For an implant. You know, it's the classic story of an old root canal gone wrong over time. Root canals seem like they just buy you some time, you know? It's Brush your teeth, kids. That's a, that, that's the main message I guess I have to give you. Come on. Anything? Anything? That really wouldn't be flickering. I guess we could say it could have a, a nuclear battery or something. How did I miss this stuff? In the fury and the fire when you're trying to do stuff. Stuff gets missed. Or maybe it comes back. Whoa! Did you just teleport in? I know we do that. It's a, it's a thing. This warp fast traveling ourselves around. There's still stuff that has yet to be found. Still. Some stuff has been. Anything... Hmm. An unlock safe. That's it. Stuff, but nothing critical. Money, 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 money. Money. Surely there'll be a cappy stickers here somewhere in the Nuka Galaxy. They're just so... These things... You know, that's a lot of stuff. Fighting is a way. Not a lot of cappies. Nope, nope, nope. Stick with me, and we can take on the galaxy. Surely, come on. Sounds like we've got a colony to... I don't know how I missed this steamer. Candy, a feather dust... Sir, and say what? hundred years, and this place would be right as rain. We're getting reports of orbital strikes. They can't over. hold out much longer. But not a single cappy clue. I guess we can try walking the rails again. That should guide me. No, wait, I know I've done this. The launch bay is just up ahead. Get to your ships. So why would that be blurred up again? Oh, that's right, Bethesda. <sighs> and back again. Well, just went off the rails. This is where we have to come back to get another suit when we finally beat this whole. thing. Thing I'm a bob. Hmm. There's a lot of nooks and crannies in there where there could be one, but I'm starting to wonder. Oh, How time consuming this whole cappy thing is gonna be. Let's take a look. Might as well come to Dry Rock Gulch, because I recall I still have an, still have my bonus steamer trunk of stuff to pick up here. There's my favorite deputy. Look here for some cappiness. 
You can't actually equip this. Then does that give you markers? Is that a thing? Wait, can you actually... Have I been wandering around blindly when you can actually get markers to go find stuff? Like, seriously, have I been that... Wow. Okay, let's see here now. Okay, I turned on the Retrieve Your Gang's Hall uh, things as well. So, let's see here now. Gang's tribute stash. Still don't know what the purpose of the tickets is. Was coming to places like this fun for folks back in the day? <laughs> Didn't they have? Tells you just about where all of them are. That's just okay. Let's do this thing. Then there's nothing here in Kitty Kingdom and in Dry Rock, the Dry uh, Rock Gulch Theater actually, or anything like that. Let's go up to uh, let's go up to Safari Adventure. Do 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 do. Okay, let's see. Twenty eight. That's the closest thing. Is this the? Uh, Is that a cappy or is that my uh, stash? <sighs> I have to go around. I don't have my jetpack. Now this is the stash. Mason Review. bit the hand off a Yawgwai, so watch what you try to feed him, unless you ain't fond of your fingers. Now that's interesting, when you get close... When you get close, it turns them off, so you have to find them. <laughs> nice. According to this, it should be like right here. I look at the map, I mean... Right, right nearby someplace. Okay, I'm gonna assume based on angles, it's not outside. It's gotta be inside the primary house or someplace. I mean, you can say hi to Sito. Or not. Let's let him wander around. Somewhere around the edge of the building or something, right in a corner. I hate to take this stuff, it seems like it must be Sito's. Is Sito's a note? If you're reading this note, then you've met Marco Sito. His father, Marcos, was killed in so little to little Marcos. So that's why it's called Sito. This is interesting. His father, Marcos, was killed in a super mutant attack on our settlement. I'm afraid my own wounds will be taking me as well. I don't have much time. I'm terrified to send him out into this world alone, but I don't have any choice. I'm begging you to please take him in and see that he gets the food and shelter he'll need in order to survive. Tell our little Sito that his parents love him and that he's looking for us. He'll always be, will always be inside his heart. Sito's mother, Imelda. Oh, isn't that sad? Someday he'll learn to read. I'm not kidding, he's Sito. Poor guy. At least he was he was protected and raised. 
in a way that made him a good fighter, at least. That moment when you start looking at any stain in the wall. Okay, let's go back to the fizz top. Find the hidden cappy here, maybe. Right there. But let's let's get the let's get the rocket jets and see if we can find it with the you know with the armor. That might give us access to certain areas that we wouldn't normally get to. Interesting, my cappy glasses here show as being equipped if they don't show up on my face. That way, we don't need the gun. Cancel. Well, we got Why can't I put my gun away? There we go. Yeah, where are they? Hmm. This couldn't be complicated. Ooh, boy. And there's Gage having some noodles. The question is, will we be able to see it? It's behind me. 180 degrees behind me. Okay, so I can see it, but I have to. So at least we'll be able to find them in the suit, but you have to get out of the suit. To actually record the clue. Two clues down, eight to go. And then we continue. So at least we know we can see it. This it might make life a little bit simpler. It, it should be like right here according to where the marker shows up. I mean, it's, is it on the ground? Or is this marker thing really not even a thing? Is that like, does that give you a radius? Okay, according to this, if I go straight, I should run into it. Go a different one. Nowhere but straight. It's gone off the radar, but we're still going straight. Now we have to go not straight. Now we're stuck. Right? Yes. I think there's no way to see anything in there. If they put it in there, they're just, just evil. Now, in theory, I could have missed it if it's in the water. Investigate the water. <laughs> Safari Adventure Center. How is that look?
In what sense would the Savari Adventure Center have a mark? Come on, come on. This is a pipe. There's not a cappy in here, is there? I hate abandoning my armor. This is a wild goose chase. I'm gonna be so annoyed. Well, it's all a wild goose chase. All right. Well, at least we can get some lore going here. This is Doctor Darren McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Continuing my personal recordings. I've been continuing to modify the Nuka Gen Replicator to provide a source of food. It's ironic that the very same device Nuka World was using to create its animal specimens for leisure has become integral to my survival. Using a tissue sample from a cow, I was able to replicate a viable clone, consume it as food, then use the remaining tissue to create another. I figure as long as the Nuka Gen Replicator continues to function, I'll have an endless supply of food for years to come. Dr. Hein would be proud of my accomplishment. It's sad. It's been so long I've almost forgotten what he looked like. My god, it's been decades now. Maybe even a century or more, hasn't it? Has it been so long? Well, I'll, uh, I'll continue recording later. survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility, continuing my personal recordings. It's been... hell, I don't know how long it's been. I think I stopped counting months ago. Or was it years? Even with the scientific equipment at my disposal, it's clear. There's no going back from what I've become. The radiation from the bombs has taken its toll on my body twisting and deforming my physical appearance. But, instead of falling into despair, I've embraced the change and used it as a basis for my new cloning research. Perhaps this curse will turn out to be a blessing. I just wish Dr. Hein was here to guide my hand. I feel lost without him. Okay, it's taking me back out to Nuka World, so this might be... Complete red herring. I think we've gone through these terminal entries too, but it's in a different. So now where was? We gotta get back to our uh, back to the armor. Hmm, something, something very calming about getting back into a suit of armor. You might have it open so I can see cabbies. A bunch of Nuka Cola lunchboxes. Hmm. What's that for? For fun. Yeah, you get the impression from the amount of pre more money that was just left around, people realize pretty quickly. And it was pointless. In lieu of all that had gone on. I've lost track of where I'm supposed to be here now. Yeah, I think... I think we're in the right general area for where we're supposed to find the thing. Let's 
It's a little frustrating. <laughs> one thing is either working for me or against me, and I don't know what. Which one it is. I vaguely remember seeing one, like stuck on a wall in a corner someplace. I don't know if that's taking me down the wrong path, because there's an awful lot of those. I've already been up here. Hello. I don't remember exactly what kind of wall. Or at all where I saw it. Anything I can do? You find, find me cappies. That'd be cool if you could just put the put the cappy glasses on, clip them on your your assistants here and your your companions and let them wander around and as they find them, hey look at this. And mark the clues. We have wandered so far because this isn't that big an area. So like we should be finding them they're, they're all right here. Behind a bush? I am totally frustrated. When I finally see this thing, it's going to be so frustrating. I'm like, oh, there it is. Of course. I walked past it 17 times. I've walked past everything 17 times. And it's just... Just so frustrating. Totally not a cappy thing. Let's just shoot her. Mason earned his place at the top. Don't forget that. Is <laughs> suddenly attacked by cows. Free for the taking. I haven't. I say it's encouraging that I haven't you know, been here before, but I know I've seen this thing before, so that means I'm probably... Right now, I'm just hugging the wall. I'm hugging the wall, and I'm walking around, and I'm looking for whatever could be stuck to it. Hmm. just realized that's a grave marker. Okay, I, I've been looking at the same thing over and over again. Maybe it's the Vicodin from this tooth extraction that's taking hold of me, but I really, really want to look at something else for a little while. There's one! On the back of a grave, well, probably a fake grave marker, but still. Over here, and let's call, let's call the map up here. Let's get right on it. So right there. Pretty close to where the original marker had put it, too. I mean, this should be, we should, this should not be this hard. That's three clues. The letters must spell something. So at least we're getting some success. May as well claim our haul from the Kitty what? Kingdom. Okay. Nuka Cola Dark, the infamous Nuka Cola Dark, which caused Bethesda so much trouble when they tried to make it in real life out of plastic instead of glass. Still don't know why the ticket. So, boss, will we be reaping any rewards from your new reign?
I see a cavity, but I do see a box. Can we rag one? Would the cavity be off in the corner somewhere? So we're in range of it, so now it's off the marker. I didn't get a good look at the point on the map. There is supposed to be some weird story with all the mannequins in this game as well. Something strangely symbolic about their positioning and... But that's just, yeah, just theory. Okay, employee tunnels. We've been the employee tunnels. Why is it sending me in there? Perhaps that's a pathway to the bottling plant. Well, this looks yucky. You sure it's safe to swim here? I'm actually fairly certain it's not. Need some carrots? Kind of this. I'm really near one. I guess it could this place be. Doesn't get a whole heck of a lot of foot traffic. That could mean that it's just right above me. I yeah, definitely know. I mean, we've been through here. We've killed everything. Let's, let's zoom. According to this, so there's a door with a bottling plant there. Kitty Kingdom. And right there, if you look, there's, this, there's a building here. It should be on the wall of this building. We should find one. That's the employee tunnels. Let me see something. I can just, I think one more. I'll almost be happy with just one more. And call you, my eyes are getting blurry, gang. This is, uh. It's a lot of work trying to do this particular course, which, don't get me wrong, that is a good thing in a lot of ways. Alright. 
still, it's right there. Should be able to see it. So many fusion cores. It's this building. I mean, it should be somewhere. Right around there. I should. I should be staring at it. Could be up top in that clock tower kind of thing. Oh. Sorry. That wasn't the plan. Can we knock it up there? Even more rockets? Yeah, I don't see anything down here. Is there a way in? We can go up there without rockets. Let's take uh, take the stairs, as it were. This is where we were before when we were making comments on the darn. Uh... Yep, we've been here already, and it means there should be one nearby. Dad. There! Now, I... We were here. We looked at this. Did you see that? Is this like, you know... Well, how did I miss that when I was up here last time? How? Okay. That's another clue found. How did I not see that when it was... Hey. What can I do? We'll be good, data. Where is Can we turn that on and move that using robot powers for good? giving me one marker. Oh, that's because it's telling me where the mainframe is. It won't tell you where any of the star cores are. Well then. Then that's not terribly useful, is it? Speak to Harvey. What are we supposed to do to speak to Harvey? Who's Harvey and why did I have to speak to him? Why am I just staring at an elephant guy? Ugh, if I could, then I think is just picking me goony. I'm just staring. Why am I thinking of the red hot chili peppers somehow? It's the uh, 
Give it a wink, give it a wink, give it a wink now. Give it a wink, give it a wink, give it a wink. Okay. Okay, let's see what the heck this was. Hey, Harv. Hey. Just wanted to say, no hard feeling. Alright? Oh, it's Harvey, the guy who sent you in here. Surprised to see me alive? Hey, I may be surprised, but in a good way, alright? Just because I got you in here doesn't mean I didn't regret it. She so didn't mention the death right here. It's okay, I get it. Thank God. If it's any consolation, I'm glad you made it. I lost my real family when Coulter and his gangs took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it, or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just sorry you had to get caught up in all this. See, who you, I understand or ever fail. It's all right, Harvey. I understand. Good to hear, boss. Never figured I'd find myself in this situation before. I thought for sure I'd be a goner. Well, better get back to it. Boss, someone's coming through the gauntlet. Go see Fritch. He'll tell you what to do. Hmm. If you what? ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Amoral combat. Talk to Fritz. Do I have to defend my, my boss to ship here? Harvey. Hope I don't have to head back out there anytime soon. Well, this is a whole other thing. Well, first of all, let's let's get back and defend Country Crossing. So what happens when you have to defend the gauntlet? Someone called Amoral Combat? I've never even heard of this mission. Alright, maybe this will be a good way. We'll, we'll, we'll go teleport to Country Crossings. Let the guns shoot whatever it is to bits. Why is the gauntlet still a thing? I mean, I can blast whoever comes through here. I mean, I've got, you know, Maddie's explosive. That's my, ex my explosive, explosive, boom, boom, shotgun thing. Man. I'm totally, totally just blaming the Viking on all this. At least my mouth doesn't hurt. I can't even tell what's going on. <laughs> Flappity. It's all a bunch of gunners. Dump off all of our junk, take this opportunity, and then uh, find out what amoral combat is. Okay, we'll hold on to that. Don't need to hang on to these. To that store all junk. Let's look at the junk. Was there anything special about the junk? Wow, that's a lot of, kind of, kind of caps pulling up there. Do, 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 
do. Coca Cola bottle. A souvenir. That's a souvenir coffee cup. Magnet cat. Swaving here, swaving here, swaving here. I think at least one teddy bear. All right. Back to Nuka World. Talk to Fritz. I assume, unless I want to lose control of all, uh, there's no way you can just lose control of Nuka World. So obviously this can only be resolved if I blast somebody. Or can I set them free? We didn't lure anybody into the gauntlet. I guess I don't want to know if Harvey ever failed and had people killed and... That doesn't make any sense. Why would you even like? I understand the gauntlet as a defensive mechanism. Oh, hi there. Where the heck am I going? Where's Fritz? in the parlor. Loading. Packing disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing. Big bad overboss. Couldn't have shown up a year ago, huh? Mags, William, and Lizzie. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born into this life. They sure as hell were born for it. Okay, it's not it's not where Fritz is. Where's the Fritz? Okay, Nuka Cade, open. Let's see, what's in the Nuka Cade? That means someone's in the gauntlet. Looks like a real tough one, too. What happens next is up to you. You can take him on yourself in the arena, or I can make sure our little rat never gets out of the maze. There's not going to be a fight. Set them free. Damn. Really? Well, you're the boss. Won't pretend I'm not disappointed, though. Failed amoral combat. Well, that's interesting. I'm okay with that. Oh well, that's... <laughs> I don't know what to think there. See, the right thing is to set them free. No, we're not doing this. Stop screwing people with people. That's, you know... Strange it comes up with a veil. Eh! Do 
still have this. We could try reloading and doing it, but then, you know, am I going to be happy with, with having killed somebody who just drifted into the gauntlet? Okay, let's load. Curiosity has gotten the better of me. I heard you were looking for me. You heard the alarm, right? That means someone's in the gauntlet. Looks like a real tough one, too. What happens next is up to you. You can take him on yourself in the arena, or I can make sure our little rat never gets out of the maze. What happens if I choose to fight? All you need to do is gear up and head for the arena. Bring whatever weapons and armor you want. Then we open up the door to the gauntlet and let in whatever dumbass scaver mark fell into the trap. After that, playtime. So what's the call, boss? You gonna give us a show or what? Time to put on a show. Hell yeah! Okay. No better way to earn a raider's respect than kicking some ass in front of a crowd. Just head for the arena whenever you're ready, boss. Okay, let's... Which way do we go here now? I don't feel like this is fitting with my character. I have a feeling I can go back and reload the save and canonically say, not look, just set him free. This is just some random person. I mean, I'm more than a match for whatever's going to watch walk in here. Now, if it's some kind of raider looking for to take over... Then that's a different story. If it's an actual bad guy, but if it's just some poor person. Okay, which way am I going? It's on the map. Fast travel. I mean, you gotta remember that this is set up that you could play it a couple different ways. You can be the bad guy. Is this one of the bad guy things? Seems like a bad guy thing. But we'll see. Let's see how this would play out, just for the video. If it ever left. So where am I going here now? That seems like the wrong way. Might as well, uh... Turn button. Might as well arm up here. It's a bow. Alright, let's just use the, the right gun. Piper.
Doesn't seem to be a lot gained from that. Plasma cartridge. Gunner harness. So it looks like he's a gunner. I can carry something if you need me to. I shoot a lot of gunners. So I guess, even though it really is the wrong thing to have done, um, I think we can live with that. <laughs> you can live with killing another gunner. But still, the right decision would have been to set them free. You know, and that's just the, the trick there. I can't see my character having just not said, look, just set him free. I'm not doing this. How come I don't have more saves here to load? Well, you see, it's a, we lost it in the quick save. I thought we had another save there that said. Okay, well, you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna gloss over this. We're just gonna move on to the next thing, as it were, and thank ourselves that it was the gunner who was looking to looking for action. That was what we're gonna. Yeah, yeah, that's strange to feel bad about a succeeded uh, mission here, you know. Completed quest. At least we got we got the gunner harness and some crap out of it. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is Definitely speaking, your Black Knight. I think it's definitely time to say, have a great night. We'll, we'll do more. There'll be more Fallout down the road. I think I need a break from looking from Cappy things, though. Just a break. A little break in the action. Yeah. Okay, so I guess, I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>